Okay, so I've got a Pong game. It's just starting. Right now, all I've got is if I click on a start button, okay, I'm doing this on my phone. You're going to see it here on the screen. Uh, the ball jumps up to the top and then it moves because of, of the properties I've set in, in the ball's um, uh, properties. Okay, now what I'm going to do is show you, you know, I want to really make it so it doesn't go straight down, but it kind of, right when the Pong game starts, I kind of want the ball to randomly go down pretty much anywhere towards the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to change this to 70. And if you look at this little graph, you know, I'm going to make it so it goes like between, I don't know, two, uh, th 225 and 315. So I'll go 45 degrees kind of up this way and 45 degrees to the right. And we'll just get that whole area and have the ball randomly go between those. And if you go to uh, math, there's this nice block that just gives you a random integer between two things. So instead of 270, I'm going to take that guy out and I'll just change it to 2. Actually, I can just get rid of this guy. And I'm going to change it from 2, this 1 to 225. And then for this guy, I'm going to make it 315 or 270 plus 45, right? Okay, so I'm going to make my heading every time the, the start buttons get clicked, I'm going to make my heading different. Okay, so I can test this. So when I you know, let me let me tie this picture here, and you're going to see the ball go down in different directions, and it's going to be choppy because my phone's projecting onto the screen, so it, that's slow. But on my phone, it's going smooth. But when I click start, every time it should kind of go a different direction. Okay. All right, and you know you might want to modify the um, the range you give it, like because you notice sometimes it hits the right edge um, and maybe you want that in your game maybe you don't but at least we're getting some random movement every time when you when you run the app